Ya ayyuhalladzina amanu kutiba alaykum usiyam The first blessing best to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did upon us The mankind is that He made this month the month of fasting The month of Ramadan And then the blessings of fasting are unlimited Then the other thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did in this month of Ramadan Is shahar Ramadan allazi unzila fi al-Quran Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave the guidance of the Quran to the mankind in the month of Ramadan, starting in the month of Ramadan. And the third thing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, very obvious that we learn from the Quran, is the Laylatul Qadr. And Laylatul Qadr is khairun min al shahar, is better than a thousand months. And we, we benefited from the, all these three things as the month of the Ramadan passed by. Now we have reached to the end and after this we have 11 more months to go before we can get into the same blessings again. Now, the thing that I want to talk about today is that there is another thing that we achieve we don't realize. And that thing is, and I will recite some verses of the Quran, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, that is one part of your internal personality. And I'll read the ayat about that. That helps you to correct yourself. And you practice more and more that in the month of Ramadan. Which is that if you are inclined or interested to do something which is against the command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. An internal voice stops you from doing that. If you are fasting and you want to do some backbiting. You hear an internal voice, no, this is wrong, I should not do it. It is stopped you there. If you want to do something else, you want to cheat, you want to do any bad thing, it is stops you. And you stop because, oh, I'm fasting there. Now that <coughs> wall is gone. There is no more word fasting there anymore. So what should we do now? This is something that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has mentioned in our Quran by a single word which I'm going to recite. This is in Surah Al-Qiyamah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing in Surah Al-Qiyamah, La uqsimu biyawmi al-Qiyamah. Allah says, nay, but I swear by the day of judgment. It's a very, very big qasam, very, very big swearing Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is doing. Right after that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uses another word, Wala uqsimu bil nafsil awama. Allah says, and then, I swear, Allah is swearing by the nafsil awama. What is nafsil awama? Nafsil awama is the internal characteristic of the human being, internal property of a human being, which tries to stop him from doing the wrong thing. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is give, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in the nature of the human being has placed this characteristic that whenever you intend to do something wrong, whenever you are inclined to divert your attention doing something which is the disobedience towards Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala or against another human being, this nafsil of mama is tries to stop you for for a brief moment. Now you have an option after that. That's what the definition. So nafsi lawama is the heart, is the mind, is the character of a person which Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed in us that any time we want to go after the wrong things, it tries to stop us. It tries to rebuke us. It tries to reproach us. Don't do it. But now you have the choice. You can throw this behind your back and continue doing the bad things. Or you can listen to the voice, your internal voice, and stop that wrong thing you are doing. In the month of Ramadan, we did practice that. Unknowingly, we practice because it is in the human nature. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed that characteristic inside of us and he is swearing by that quality that he has placed in the human personality, nafse lawama. Lawama is from the malamat. It tries to stop you, tries to rebuke you. Don't do, don't do, don't do. You can neglect it and continue doing the wrong thing. 
So it is a very, very important characteristic that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has placed in us, in the human being, which we don't realize. If you, if you are strong, every time after the month of Ramadan, try to use this practice. Keep it in front of you. Remember the word, nafs is actually you yourself. Your heart, your mind, your personality, and lavama is from the word malamat. It's going to stop. You say, no, you're doing wrong. Don't do it. Don't do it. Don't do it. You can throw it away and continue living the life that you have been living before the month of Ramadan. So keep this thing in your mind. Keep this word in your mind. Nafs lavama. Next time you want to do something, you want to sit down together and start backbiting or somebody else. Remember the word Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing which is inside you, a, a property, a characteristic which is in the human being. Allah is swearing by that after such a big uh, swearing, big qasam of qayama, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is swearing a, 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 a personality of the human being. So the message is that keep this in front of you, try to do more and more in a way that you don't get involved in those things which are the disobediences of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, La ilaha illallah, Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar, wa lillahi alhamd. Just one more advice for us. If we are not regularly reciting the Quran and reading the Quran, make it a practice now. But practice in this way. Don't read the Arabic only. Don't try to read one juice every day, half juice every day. Read one page, read with the translation, read with the understanding. That will change the life. If you have been reading the Quran for 20 years without knowing what's written in there, just Reading the Arabic language won't help you. But if you read one page every day with full understanding, with the translation, practice this, bring this in your life, and believe in me, this will change your life very soon, inshallah, Aziz. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reminds us with Bismillah wa alhamdulillah wa salatu wa salam wa ala rasulillah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. In Allah, Malaikata, you said Luna, Allah, Nabiya, you will have Dina, Manu, Salu, or I was selling with the Slima. Allah, Masalia, Sayyid Nauman, Mohammedin, Mala, Sayyid Naumalan, Mohammedin, Barri, was Salam. Inshallah, I'll repeat some duas which are very common, but I want to say these duas with the understanding, with the translation. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, Rab is teaching us duas in the Quran. Rabbi Jalni, Mukim, Salati. O oh my Rabb, O oh my Sustainer, make me establishing the prayer. Make me perform the prayers and establish, be firm on my prayers. Wamin zurriyati, and also to my progeny, to my children. Rabbana wa taqabbal dua. O our Lord, accept our dua, accept our supplication. Rabbana hablana min azwajina. O oh Allah, O oh our Lord, O oh our Sustainer, make us our spouses, Vadurriyatina, and our children, Qurrata Ayunin, the coolness of the eyes, comfort of our eyes. These are the duas very important. Make dua with the understanding that what you are saying, it will come out of your, of your heart. Who is that who doesn't want their spouses? and the children as the coolness and the com comfort of the eyes. So make dua supplication with the understanding of what you are saying. And also make dua for yourself to Allah, give me to practice the taqwa dua so I should be ahead of everybody. Then make dua for your parents. Rabbana firli wali wali dhaiya. O Allah forgive me. And my parents, and this forgiveness is complete forgiveness on the day of judgment. Walilmu'minina, and O our Lord, forgive all those who believe. Yawma yaqumul hisab, on the day when the accountability will be established, 
when all of us will be standing in front of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, then may dua in this world and in the hereafter to have the best of everything. And there is nothing wrong to have best of everything in this world as well as in the hereafter. Rabbana Atina, O our Lord, give us, and it's a collective dua, give to all of us, fit dunya in this world, hasana, which is the best. And we don't know what is hasana. You are the one who knows what's the best for us. Wa fil akhirati hasana, and give in the hereafter what is best for us. Wa qina adab nar and save us from the punishment of the hellfire. And then make dua, Rabbana faqir lana dhunubana. O our Lord, O our Sahaja. Notice that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is teaching us to use the word Rabbana again and again, again and again. In all the most of the duas, Rabbana is our Lord, our sustainer, <coughs> our provider, <coughs> our Allah. All these meanings are there for the word Rabb. So, Rabbana firlana, O Allah, O our Lord, forgive us. What forgive us? Zunubana, whatever zunub is the plural of sin. Zambun means sin, any small sin or any big sin we commit. We are making dua to Allah. All day long we do the, we make sins against Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, knowingly or unknowingly. But at the time of Salat, sit down and say, Rabbana firlana dunubana. O oh Allah, forgive us all the sins that we have done until now. And whatever wrong we have done, we have done a lot of wrong in the last few hours, last few days. Remove from us the punishment of our wrong deeds. Rabbana wa tawafana maal abrar. O Allah, when the time of the death comes, join us with those who are your righteous people, righteous servants. So make dua with the understanding, knowing what you are making dua. Just, just don't repeat in Arabic. We have memorized in our childhood. First, learn the meaning of these duas. Believe me, duas will come out of your heart if you are. Make dua in your own language, you know. Yeah, make dua in Arabic, but then make dua in your own language. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will accept. So may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala give us tawfiq to be as careful in the rest of the months of uh, the year as we are in the month of Ramadan our, about our daily practices. Sadaqallahu Azim. Assalamu alaikum. Keep Mubarak to our people.